Well, I'm going to add this into the RD Works Learning Lab session. There is no RD Works involved with this today, really. Um, but I'm just updating you on the latest that I've been doing with my machine. Now, one of my friends has very kindly gifted me with two or three sheets of 10 millimeter plywood. 10 millimeter plywood? Not possible. I took it anyway and thanked him very much, anticipating that I would have a great deal of trouble cutting it and I would have to use it for something else. But, at five millimeters per second, 65% power, which is my maximum 20, 20 milliamp limit, Now can split, you can see the smoke coming out the bottom there, at the back, which tells me that uh, basically we're cutting through, otherwise the smoke would be coming out the top. It's quite a nice quality birch plywood, so I should be able to use this probably for wood cuts or engraving or whatever. Now, it certainly hasn't dropped out at that speed, but when we take a look underneath, you can see that it has actually cut through. And if I just give it a gentle push, the chances are that because the beam hangs very slightly behind at the bottom, it may well be that it's hanging on the corners only. So there we go, look, it's just, it's just pushed out. Now here I've got a piece of pink paper and you can see that I'm not marking it with my finger. I will now rub my finger on there to show you that I'm absolutely amazed that it's cut it cleanly and not left soot on the edge. So I hope you might be impressed with that and if you've got an opportunity to try some 10 millimeter plywood, give it a try. As you can see, the edges are really nice and clean, so it hasn't produced smoke and burning on the edges. I don't know whether you can see this, um, but I'm having warning signs that this keyboard is going to become a little bit disreputable in not too long a period. It's already starting to shed some bits of plastic here on the edge of the keys, particularly the ones that I use a lot, which are the start pause key and the enter key. I do tend to use these up here as well. And you can see again, look, we're getting a little bit of peeling of the plastic off the top surface here. As it's running up to Christmas and my wife is getting some Christmas cards prepared, um, when she pulled the Christmas card um, packages out of the cupboard, I realized that the box lids a very nice thin plastic and what I've done I've manufactured myself a four or five millimeter thick acrylic frame that fits around the keyboard and I've then attached a piece of this Christmas card plastic onto the surface of it with some double-sided tape it now just literally sits on my keyboard and gives me total protection I can still feel the keys through it, the keys still press, but I now know that I'm not going to damage the keys. The worst that's going to happen is that in a few months time, I've saved a couple of Christmas card boxes, I might have to make a new one of these, but this cost me nothing, as opposed to a very expensive replacement keyboard. Right, well that's all I really want to talk about today, except one important thing that I've continually forgotten to say to you guys, is you can see the state of my machine here it's got lots of paper and card in it from where I've been making Christmas cards sorry I've been making next year's birthday cards for my wife um, this actually represents a fire hazard I mean for me cutting cards it's not too much of a fire hazard because the power is very very low and the cards are sitting something like about maybe an inch above this surface. So there's very little overspill of power, but the worst that happens is it tends to scorch the surface.
but if you were trying to do something more powerful like I just did which was the 10 millimeter plywood I worked up the corner here and you'll notice that what I've done I've made sure that I cleared away all the debris in this area so that I got no chance of a fire and that's what I've been forgetting to mention to you I've got a bit of an over-the-top fire extinguisher here which I keep beside the machine and I would earnestly recommend you guys to go down to your motor store or maybe um, your departmental store and get yourself either a kitchen or a car fire extinguisher just a small one just a canister because if you ever do get a fire in this area it could be rather expensive so just you know for the sake of maybe 10 or 15 pounds it's a very sensible precaution now one of the things I noted when I was cutting my wood was that again the edges are not really very square um, I did find a bit of a problem on here which I've tried to rectify but I've still got a squareness problem when I've got deep cuts like this I'm not going to worry about that temporarily because cutting thin paper it doesn't affect me at all but if I want to do some deeper cuts then I really want my head cutting nice square sides so at some stage in the near future I will get down to looking at trying to solve this problem and work out what it is anyway that's all for now as I said just a quick brief session thanks for your time